Hello my dear friend, I am David Cortez and this is my website www.david-cortez.com On my website you can find a lot of information about software engineering, web development, mathematics, physics, chemistry and so on. Let's start! In this video I want to show you how to solve a little but important C program. So this program is called the positive and negative sums uh, program that asks the user to write five numbers and it calculates the sum of the positive numbers and the sum of the negative numbers. The program ends wh when the last number is entered or when the number entered is zero. So this is the code. As you can see, you find this PDF on my website in the section Software Engineering and in the subsection C Programming. Positive and negative sums. Ok, so let's do together step by step by using code blocks. Code blocks is an open source cross platform IDE. So let's click here, create a new project, console application, next, T, project title, we call it positive dash and dash negative dash sums positive and negative sums next as the compiler we choose this the new gtc compiler finish okay let's click on the folder sources and let's click on main.t so by pressing ctrl plus we can zoom that text so we have hashtag include the standard input output library, so stdio.h, hashtag include stdlib.h, the standard library. So we have the main function that returns an integer, that is this zero, but we can write here exit success, exit underscore success. We can count this line, so we have in, as integer variable we have i, comma, negative numbers negative numbers, comma, positive numbers semicolon float, as float variables we have number comma negative sum comma positive sum semicolon i is equal to zero positive numbers is equal to zero negative numbers is equal to zero positive sum is equal to zero negative sum is equal to zero do so we do a do while so print f between parentheses, between quotation marks, number is equal, is equal to, ok, a space, and at the end the semicolon. Here we need to define the, um, a constant, so hashtag define n, uppercase n, 5, because the, the, for the constant we use the uh, uppercase letters. So, 
Can I have fun? Can I have uh, between parentheses, between uh, quotation marks, percent F because we want to read a float, and percent number because the, the number uh, is a scalar, and with the percent we give the address to that function. If the number So if number is less than zero, negative numbers plus plus, so is incremented by one, a negative sum is equal to negative sum plus the number. Ok, if we can write here also else if uh, number is greater than zero. positive numbers plus plus positive sum is equal to positive sum plus number i plus plus so while i is less than n and number is not zero print f negative numbers equal to percent d negative sum is equal to percent f backslash n and here we write negative numbers comma positive sum at the end semicolon Then we write print f between the parentheses between quotation marks positive numbers equal to percent d positive sum equal to percent f comma positive numbers comma positive sum ok so let's try so it is the uh, a program that tasks the user to write five numbers and it calculates the sum of the positive numbers and the sum of the negative numbers. The program ends when the last number is entered or when the number entered is zero. So debug, let uh, click here, build and run.
positive sum ok ok so number minus one one minus two two minus three point one one two three four five so so we have a problem because we have written more than five numbers exactly because here it is one is less than n no, not one but i okay so it was an infinite loop because here there was, there was a mistake. Okay, now retry. So, minus 1, 1, minus 2.1, 2, minus 3. So, the negative numbers are 3, and the sum is uh, 3. The negative sum cannot be free so we have another problem because the negative sum is uh, minus 5.1 minus 6.1 okay so negative sum Negative sum is equal to negative sum plus number. And the negative sum at the beginning is zero. Okay, it is a float. Okay, the mistake is this, because in the negative uh, we should write TR negative sum. So negative sum. So as you can see, the, the job of the software engineer is to write and to test the code. And uh, sometimes you will do mistakes and you have to find what is the mistake by by trying by testing the code. So minus one one minus two two minus three point one so we have three negative numbers that are minus one minus two minus three point one and the sum means minus three point one plus minus two is minus five point one minus one is minus six point one okay Positive numbers are 2, 1 and 2, and the uh, sum is 3. Okay, now we try the release. So let's click here, build and run. And we, we can, uh, for example, 1.1 minus 1.1. 1 1.1 minus 2.1. 3.1 ok the negative numbers are 2 and the sum is uh, minus 3.2 because uh, uh, minus 2.1 minus 1.1 the, the sum is minus 3.2 ok and the positive numbers are 3 and they are 1.1 2.1 and 3.1 and the sum is 1.1 and 2.1 3.2 
plus 3.1 so the sum is 6.3 ok so it works so you can find the code on my website I want to remember that on my website you can find a lot of information about software engineering in general, but also about mathematics, physics, chemistry, and you will find real uh, exam, real college exams. So, for example, in math tutoring, when you accept the section uh, math exercises most of them most of these exercises are real uh, exam exercises so if you click here make a donation you can read this dear friend your donation is important help me update this website and join this community Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye!